Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and also to LLB Society which is an online learning community to practice foreign languages. This time I'm gonna narrate or tell you a story. The title of this story is The um, Milk Woman and the Pail. Yeah, the Milk Woman and her Pail. Pail means bucket. This story is from Aesop, one of the Aesop's fables, and uh, it comes with uh, a list of new vocabulary and uh, expressions. And <clears throat> you can use this a uh, fairy tale to improve your English reading and vocabulary. And also, by listening to me, you can also practice your listening comprehension. Uh, I should acknowledge the source from Gutenberg Project at Gutenberg dot org. Okay. A farmer's daughter was carrying her pail of milk from the field to the farmhouse when she fell a music. So. Uh, it's clear a farmer's daughter was just taking some milk from the farm or field to home or cottage. And pail means, uh, as I said, bucket of milk. And uh, suddenly she fe she started thinking. Muse means to visualize, to think or envision. The money for which this milk will be sold will buy at least 300 eggs so she started calcula calculating calculating something that has not happened in a very complicated complicated way or fashion uh, <clears throat> the money for which this milk will be sold will buy at least 300 eggs so we can get or purchase 300 eggs by selling this a uh, pail of milk the eggs allowing for all mishaps will produce 250 chickens so uh, by just uh, these third 300 eggs can uh, lead to or come to a fruition allowing for all mishaps means considering all the misfortunes for example some of the eggs cannot hatch will produce 250 chickens just by subtracting 50 eggs from the sum the chickens will become ready for the market when poultry will fetch the highest price so chickens those 250 chickens will become ready for the market when poultry poultry means uh, domestic fowls such as geese ducks chickens etc will fetch or sell for fetch means sell for the highest price so that by the end of the year i shall have money enough from my share to buy a new gown the gown means elegant dress so uh, so I can just sell this milk and get 300 eggs I can sell those or, or just keep those eggs and they will come to 250 chickens I will just uh, sell those chickens and get a very elegant and chic dress so this is visualization or daydreaming as you can see in this dress, I will go to the Christmas parties where all the young fellows will propose to me. So this is another layer, a layer of daydreaming. So by just getting that dress, which is elegant, uh, I can just appear in parties and the young men would propose to me. Uh, propose means offers to someone for marriage. Uh, but I will toss my head and refuse them everyone 
when you toss your head it means that you just throw up your head to show uh, negative opinions to reject something to disagree and so I will just uh, negate or veto all of their proposal proposals and reject all of the proposals and yeah let's uh, let's see what will happen at this moment she tossed her head in unison with her thoughts when down fell the milk pail to the ground and all her imaginary schemes perished in a moment there are some good words here at this time she tossed her head when she was thinking of rejecting the young men's proposals in unison means in agreement in unison uh, with her thoughts when down fell the milk pail and accidentally because it happened uh, uh, at the same time actually she just uh, uh, lost all of the milk and to the ground and all her imaginary means unreal schemes or plans perished means died out or disappeared in a moment and a very good uh, idiom let's say or proverb could could be attributed or linked to this situation and it is don't count your chickens before they hatch so it means don't make uh, plans too soon and uh, you can just uh, go on step by step and uh, don't be in a hurry so new words number one pale means bucket number two to muse means to think ponder or visualize three mishap means accident misfortune and casualty for poultry domestic fowls such as chickens ducks geese etc fetch here in this context means sell for or raise or produce gown elegant dress seven propose to means to make an offer of marriage to someone toss lightly through throw something in unison in agreement in harmony imaginary unreal based on imagination scheme plan and perish means to disappear or die out and the lesson that we can take from this uh, short short fairy tale is don't don't count your chickens before they hatch uh, before they hatch and yeah th there are some uh, keywords that are linked to this short story for example this this story is ideal for advanced English learners Aesop's fables if you just click on that by the way go to lelb.net and if you just click on that you will see all the uh, fairy tales from Aesop and daydreaming visualizing don't count your chickens before they hatch if you just click on that you will see more lessons in which this term has been used fantasy means imagination visualization particularly in an unreal totally unreal way poultry upper intermediate English wishful thinking and wool gathering and also you can see and study the uh, translation of this uh, uh, fairy tale into Farsi and if you just click on that uh, category learn English with short fairy, uh, short fairy tales or short stories you will see more short stories like the farmer and the fox maybe I can zoom out yeah it's better and uh, the lioness and the vixen the net and the bow and the bull the young crab and his mother the lion and the mouse belling the cat 
the crow and the pitcher, the shepherd boy, the dog and the shadow, and you have this pagination menu here. There are five pages, for example, you can go to next page. So, raconteur, Vanka, Misery Boy, Antoine Chekhov. So, uh, as I told you, there are over uh, 40, I think, yeah, 47. Let me be specific about that. If you just go to the sidebar, you will see uh, all lessons and categories. And if you go to the entry, learn English with short stories, you see there are 47 short stories here. And uh, our LELB Society is only available to our registered students or team members. You can easily actually join uh, our society without paying any penny just by joining our team and visit our website, go to the menu and let me just show how you can join our community click on login and login with one of these uh, sh uh, social media accounts particularly google and then contact us to activate your account you don't need to do uh, so much you know on a weekly basis and you can earn money by joining our community our community is international you know and this is really a good and positive aspect of our community and you can use this chat box to just chat with us we are available and you can just uh, ask us to uh, activate your account uh, okay thank you very much for your attention hope you found it useful take care of yourself and see you soon bye bye